Joining me now is the Maldives' former president, Mohamed Wahid Hassan. He's just been recognized by the Center for International Competitiveness and Research as a member of its 2018 Power Brands Hall of Fame. Former president, welcome to Going Underground. Right now, what is the strategic importance of your nation? Because we're hearing all manner of things from press releases from different foreign offices, whether it be in the EU, NATO nations, whether it be from China, and whether it be from India. You see, Maldives is strategically located uh, in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And so anyone who wants to have influence in the Indian Ocean region uh, would want um, Maldives on their side. So this is why Maldives is important, but it survived for thousands of years without being involved in any uh, global uh, strategic conflict. So I believe that Maldives is going to continue to 12, be a peaceful 1200, place. 1,200 <laughs> islands. I want to get to those specifics a bit later, but let's just take us back to arguably the, the beginning of the the most current concerns. Take us back to the night of uh, February the 7th, or was it the day of February the 7th, 2012, and the coup, and how you became president. What, what happened then? Yes, I was uh, vice president at the time, and there was mounting opposition uh, against the president uh, for various reasons, economic uh, and political. Uh, president came in, uh, in a coalition, together with me and other political parties. But this coalition fell apart, and so many of the coalition partners turned against him. And so the mounting opposition... And that's Nasheed. That's Nasheed. Who's currently yes, uh, yes. trying... Yes, to get back. The electoral commission yeah. said he can't yes, go for September's yes, election. he's trying to come back. But, uh, you know, he made a mistake, a uh, fundamental mistake, in arresting a uh, serving judge, uh, chief justice of the criminal court, uh, without any, uh, you know, the proper legal processes. So that is haunting him today, because he's now under a sentence for having uh, abducted uh, a serving judge. Um, the Constitution doesn't allow these kind of acts anymore. Now, uh, and now living in yes. Sri Lanka. And now living in Sri Lanka and uh, also... Because he was seen as a hero of the environment, but of course what you're alluding to there is that these 1,200 islands, we haven't got time for the whole history of how Islam managed to conquer, conquer all that over, over centuries, the, the critical uh, conflict between uh, judiciary and the executive. Yes, the, we got a new constitution in 2008, yeah, which for the first time in Maldives guaranteed fundamental rights of the people and um, also for the first time separated the three powers of government. My sense of it is that we came out with a constitution that is mostly theoretical, you know, without a base in the practice of politics in the Maldives, you know, a country that has gone through years and years of authoritarian rule with uh, patronage playing a very important role. And now suddenly you have a constitution that looks like, you know, you are in the UK or US. In fact, it was a hybrid uh, constitution with elements of uh, an executive presidency and the parliament system, Westminster uh, type parliamentary system. So that was, you know, inconsistent. And so, you, you know, you have a country where the president was all powerful and so on, and suddenly his powers have been taken away. 